on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. Bob heads to Santee, South Carolina for some striper fishing. Joining Bob will be longtime guide Stevie Pack with Pack's Landing. Also on this week's show, we feature a new line of Berkeley Power Baits. Plus, on this week's Sportsman's Table, it's a South Carolina certified crab cake recipe that you don't want to miss. It's an action-packed Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, and it all begins right now. There's one right there. Come on. Hang on. There he is, right there. Let me read. Let me read it. Really. Get him out. Oh, uh, let me get him out of there, bro. Oh. You got him. Oh man. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Look at there. Woo, man. That's a good start. Well, folks, welcome to our show this week. <laughs> that's a good start. It's early morning. Stevie Pax from Pax Landing down in Santee. It has oh, been a long nice time one. since we. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Would you? Nice stripe. Now, stripe are coming back. Yep, they've spawned it's out. It's Santee. Boy, they're coming back down the river is what I'm referring to. These have spawned <laughs> out. I've referred to stripers are back in Santee. Man. You guys have done a great job with the fishery down here. Look at that. Look at there. Wow. Huh? Man, oh man, Stevie. Wow. That yeah, little hook's harder to get out than big Yes, ones. sir. You need my pliers. I got him. You got him? Oh, look at yeah, look at that. He's probably oh, 25 inches. Look at that. Wow, let me hold that thing. Yeah, I mean, that right yeah, there. Got you, right? Oh, and he's gone. Go. That's it. Let him go, man. <laughs> That's okay. He wants to go Let's back. Let's get rigged down. up and catch another one. Here, man, here. Wipe your hands. All right. All well, right. folks, listen, I tell you what. We have been on a lot of water. Haven't been on Santee for probably 10 to 12 years, I guess, Stevie. It's time you come back. Exactly. Well, you know, and, and this guy right here, he has fished this his whole life since he's been about, well, probably three or four. Started Pax Landing, his daddy did, down back in the 30s. Uh, when the lake was, and your grandpa, yeah, I mean, and, and when they built this lake in 1942, the Pax were here. And I will tell you, you have been fishing it ever since. And I don't believe I uh, have ever heard of a reputation of a guide than the Pax family. Uh, you you guide, your brother guides. Yeah. Tell me just a little bit about, while we're waiting on another hit here, tell me just a little bit about the landing and what you guys service the fishermen down here who come far and wide to fish not only striped, but blue catfish, largemouth bass. Well, at the store there, we got a nice little chocolate shop there. We keep the basics, just what you need, you know. We don't. We can't keep all that tackle everybody needs in there, but we got all the basics. So when you come, if you need something, we got it. Gotcha. And as far as guiding, uh, it's pretty simple. Just call us up and come on. And the, our, the main spawning run up here is March, April, May, June. Okay. So they'll go up the rivers, 50 miles on up, either Camden or Columbia, and they'll spawn, and they'll come back down. March, you're going to catch your nicer fish. They got the big old bellies. Like that fish would probably weigh three more pounds yeah, in March. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it been fat. Probably been a bigger tug, too. So, but it's slow, you know. If you catch two, three, four fish up here, most fishermen are happy. Oh, sure. Yeah. You know, and uh, and then you can mix catfish in with it. And then, of course, we got shell crackers, brim, and the bass been off the charts here. But I'm just mainly striper and catfish. I will tell you, folks, listen. Go to Bob's Top 16 on our website, bobredfern.com. You will find this guy and his brother and all of the crew down at Pax Landing at Santee, Pinewood, South Carolina. Okay, let's, let's see do catch another one. A little less talk and a little more walk. All right, man, let's do it. He's a good one. <laughs> oh, look Watch at that. Watch this rod right here. Got you. Hang on. That's a good one right there, buddy. Let's dance. <laughs> hey, he's, he's tangled up here. Uh-oh. Okay, hang on a minute. Might get the rods out in a minute. Hang on. That's gonna be a keeper here. Yes. Sir. Well, being that keeper size right here. What we got here? Oh, thanks. <laughs> got oh, it? Oh, hang on. Hurry up. Oh, He's gonna I, come on. <laughs> Hurry up. Well, He's going you know, up the river. You get, you got, you're getting you. all excited this morning. Get on. You, if this don't get you excited. Get on him, brother. Get on him. If this don't get you excited. <laughs> look at that one right there, buddy. Look at that chunk. Ooh. 
Wow. Wow. Uh, damn. They pretty? Stevie, that thing is awesome. Yeah. That's a hammer. Listen. You gonna lift him? I lift him. I can do it all. Get off now. I know you can. You just like Paul. Hang on, I gotta get my glasses off here. I'm getting old. Come here, fish. Come here, man. Come here. Hook just the way it's supposed to with that fusion circle hook. All right, come here. Come here. Nah, don't do that. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Nah. Don't do that. Uh-uh. I'm glad we're not in a tournament. Nah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried to take it easy. We're going to catch him. Uh, he wasn't coming off anyways. Hang on. Get that thing off my Oh, I think you too. Bo, you did. You're getting all excited. Look at that. <laughs> He's gone. Got to do the old drill. Yeah, man. Oh, don't do that. Come back around here. All right, he's coming back this side. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I'm clear. I, I can get the others out of the way. I think we're good. You good? Let me make sure that thing is still alive. Come here, baby. You got him? All right, man. That's going to be a nice one, too. Yeah, it's a nice one. I, I can get that one out of the water if you, you want. You might as well. Okay, hang on. Well, if you go over to me, I'll be good. All right, yeah. You might catch one while you hold on to that you. one. Hey, That's going to be a chunker. It feels like double. a chunker. Yeah. Wow. I'm telling you what. I see the babies roll, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's a good quality fish right there. Wow. That's old chunk. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm telling you. Uh, uh, uh. Wow. Come here, baby. Easy. I got you. Yes, sir. Oh, he gone. He did good. All right. <laughs> here, let me get you. Let me get you some more bait here, brother. That sucker was strong. Yeah, he was. Thank that you. was that was at least what twenty. He's probably 25, 26. 26, yeah. Okay, you cannot argue with that in the least. All right. Get a fresh Heck bait. Yeah. Put it on this one. Good stuff. Okay, they're going in spurts here from side to side. Stay tuned when we come back from commercial break. More fishing from Santee, South Carolina, and on our tackle shop update. We'll introduce you to some Berkeley power baits that will help you catch more fish. You should always use a safety on any firearm, but remember, a safety is a mechanical device that can fail. It is only there to supplement proper gun handling. Remember, safe hunting is no accident. Florence, South Carolina is full of flavor. From fresh South Carolina seafood to South Carolina grown produce and meats, Florence is the place to find the culinary heritage of the South celebrated. Local restaurant chefs in Florence are dishing up vibrant Southern inspired meals in the PD and the only thing missing is you. Explore our city and plan your food journey to Florence, South Carolina at cityofflorence.com. Full life, full forward, we are Florence, South Carolina. of failure is failure itself. The world of science rewards the ones who are willing to try and fail. Because without the courage to embrace failure, ideas remain ideas. But with that courage to fail and to learn, ideas can change the world. The open road, the wind in your hair, the feeling of freedom that drives us to go out and discover. At Chevy, we're committed to getting you there with confidence and peace of mind. That's why your Chevy clean dealers commit to using enhanced vehicle cleaning measures with CDC approved cleansers. If you need a new Equinox, get 0% APR for 72 months or $4,500 cash allowance on most models. You may even shop online and take delivery at home where available. So you can find new roads with confidence. At sunset, boats are required to display a red and green light on the bow and a white light at the stern. Navigation lights are for others to see you and your intentions. Remember, safe boating is no accident. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. 
Life's just better outdoors by Berkeley. Berkeley, your fish, our science. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best in Southern comfort in quail hunting. And by Santee Cooper Country, discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Fish on, Steve. Got Fish him. on, bro. Got him. Yeah, man. Let's get him. <laughs> get I got done. him. I got him. All right, Steve. Now look. Tell right here, me. I'm getting ready to catch. I got one too. You got one. Get Bob, it. I'm coming behind. Get, get it, Bob. I got one on too. <laughs> clear, clear the room. Give me some room. I got you, Bo. I got you. I think mine's bigger. Ooh. Oh, I got to go in here. All right, go ahead. Let's dance. Do the dance. Look at there. Let's dance. All right, they're gonna try to cross all these lines up. Mm. Goodness. And you know what's so unique about this spot is that this is just a little cut right here off the main river. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That was fun, yeah. I'm just he playing. Done did his job. I'm just playing mine. I had to clean before he tangled everything up. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Folks, we have literally been here 15 minutes and just got these four rods in the water and they are just absolutely tearing it up. Okay, we're fishing uh, bait this morning. Um, blueback herring or shad? Threadfin shad this morning. Threadfish shad. Yeah, okay. it's all where the herring are going. Threadfin? They spawned out in March and yeah. took off. Come here. Come How you here. doing now? I'm going to get a bait out. Yeah, do that, Bo. Look at that. Mm. And folks, I want to show you right here with this Berkeley Fusion circle hook. It goes right in the upper lip, and you can get them right out of there very, very easily. Doesn't hurt the fish at all. Now I'm so just going to grab it just for the sake of, I don't want to hurt him. Come on, get out of there now. You are hooked very good. But, okay. There we go. Stevie, I'm telling you. Man, you, you're all business. That's a beautiful morning. It is. Look at that. Catch and release. Mm. Man. Santee stripers. Wow. Now, t tell me a little bit. I know that Santee stripers have been, there's a major effort by DNR and all the guys uh, who fish here like you that have, have been behind restoring this fishery, okay, and I know it's a tough job. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a little too deep to get into, but they're trying, we're trying, everybody's trying. Well, I mean, I think it's good for the area, but the stripers went away a little bit. Of course, they've changed the limits and they've done all they can do. So, well, yeah, there were other things too, like the Rediversion Canal, rewriting the water, and yeah, there's a lot of stuff that went into it. Yeah, okay, yeah. these fish used to come through the lot doors, they were saltwater fish, you know. All of them. We're stocking a lot of fish now. Gotcha. So it's getting a little bit more like some of the other lakes are putting take lake. I got you. You see, they're doing well. They are doing well. Nice size. And ones. that's that's what I'm talking about. And, uh, yeah, man. And yeah. hopefully, we're getting some bigger fish coming through the lot doors too. Some. So with that combination, it could be back because Santee, you know, was one of the first lakes that saltwater fish would come into and exactly. actually shot the fish behind the dam and stock all these lakes in the United States with fish from right here in Santee. Wow. We were just, this Santee started it all. Man. It's, if you read the history on it, it's there. Well, and the history of the Pax family, you guys have been here. here since the beginning. That's what's so unique. That's why I can't quit. I know. <laughs> fish on, him, Stevie. Bob. Fish on, Stevie. Let's finish up. All right, man. Let's finish this deal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my goodness. I think it's going to be another cat. I think it is. He's kind of swirling and twirling. A kitty cat. You hear him purring coming to the top. That's okay though, I'm telling you. Santee's known, folks, for its blues. And we've caught some very nice striper today. Nice blue cats. And my guide and Go-to guy, no, oh yeah, blue. man, that's a fillet or two right there. Look at that, mm, 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 mm. man. Listen, you clean him up, fry him there at the grill. It packs landing. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, we're getting ready to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Now that blues have been known to be caught out of here. What, 75, 80, 90 pounds? I think the record's 110. 110, man. Yeah. We got oh. a ways to go to get that. Goodness. Mm -mm.
Folks, we're going to have more fishing on today's show, but joining me now is Kevin Malone, the product brand manager at Berkeley with Pure Fishing. He's got some great new baits. You need to pay attention here, okay, on our tackle shop today. Hey, Kevin, I'm telling you, these things are awesome. Talk to me about these. Yeah, so we're, uh, you know, everybody knows and loves power bait, and uh, we're always putting out new power bait shapes, and this year we've launched three new shapes with uh, back-to-back Bassmaster Classic champion Jordan Lee. Uh, we developed some new soft bait shapes with him in the power bait lineup. We've got a crawl, we've got a new paddle tail, and as well as a, a minnow that's a, a good drop shot minnow. And, and look, look at this thing. I, I, I mean, that thing looks real. Yeah, so in addition to the power bait piece of it, which we all know and love, um, which is uh, our scent package that we basically mold into the baits that uh, hold, allows fish to hold onto the bait 18 times longer. So when they bite that thing, they think it's real and they hold onto it any longer than any other soft plastic. But in combination with that, you'll see we've got uh, some new finishes, what we're calling HD True Color, which is a new technology for us. So we've got super realistic finishes, some of the most realistic looking soft plastics out there in the market. Well, I tell you what, th these are exciting. Okay, I can't wait to get some of these things in the water for myself. Um, if folks want to find all the great products from Berkeley, tell them how they can go look at them, buy them, okay? Yeah. And, and I tell you what, they need them in their tackle box. Yeah, these are shapes you, you got to have in your tackle box. All the key things that uh, no matter what time of year are important. And the best place to go check them out is uh, berkeley-fishing.com. Uh, you can see our whole lineup of uh, new products there, and it's a really great research tool. So. Coming up next, it's time to head to Deck 383 in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina for a great crab cake recipe. Football? Nah. Baseball? Did it. Motocross? Got hurt. I choose to fish. And fish? and fish. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. No matter if you're hunting private property or public property, make sure you're wearing an orange hat, vest, or coat of solid, visible international orange so that you will be seen and identified as a hunter, not as a game animal. Wearing visible orange could save your life. Be safe, be seen. Florence, South Carolina is full of flavor. From fresh South Carolina seafood to South Carolina grown produce and meats, Florence is the place to find the culinary heritage of the South celebrated. Local restaurant chefs in Florence are dishing up vibrant Southern inspired meals in the PD and the only thing missing is you. Explore our city and plan your food journey to Florence, South Carolina at cityofflorence.com. Full life, full forward. We are Florence, South Carolina. No wake zones are areas on a body of water in which boaters must operate at idle speed. Idle speed is defined as just enough power to maintain steerage and headway. Remember, safe boating is no accident. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Welcome to this week's edition of the Sportsman's Table. We're back here at Merle's Inlet on the Intercoastal Waterway at Deck 383 Restaurant at Wakawacha Marina. And my chef guest again today is Jermaine Alston. He's the executive chef here at Deck 383. And he's got a, well, it's a it's a local fish recipe mm -hmm. um, that everybody can get when they come to the restaurant here. Oh yeah. Tell me a little bit about it, my friend. All right, we have our crab cakes right here. Okay. Um, our crab cake is a special blend. You know, we use uh, claw 
and a special blend crab meat that comes from the lump crab meat, the little pickings from the lump crab meat. Ah, so again, that's all local All here. local, all local. Okay, I love it. Okay, yep. buy local, eat fresh. There you go. Everybody's well, I, happy. Yeah, there you go, man. Okay, here at Deck 383, this is this is something you guys serve up to yeah. all the guests here. Yeah. So let's get started. Man, all the right. grease is hot. Grease We're ready to roll. Just take our crab cake. Okay. Roll them in our bread right there. Oh, wow. Be sure it's good and covered. And you know, the great thing about it, when you come to the restaurant over here, um, things are fresh. Oh, yeah. Okay. They didn't we know make that everything fresh. Out of the freezer oh, stuff. we make everything fresh. Mm. Man. No frozen crab cakes here, buddy. There you go, brother. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, just bread that up real good and form it out. We're going to throw them right to the pan. And oh, folks, yeah. if you want a copy of Jermaine's recipe, just log on to BobRedfern.com, go to the Sportsman table. Oh, wow. So how long are these things going to cook I up? I cook them probably about two and a half minutes on each side. Okay. Flip them over. Then I'm going to throw it in the oven for about eight to ten minutes. I got you. All right. I'll move that thing out of the way for you. Now, what kind of texture is that going to just... It's, it's, just it's a just really light brown? Light golden brown. Okay. Light golden brown. Awesome. Which we should be almost there right about now. Oh, yes. Perfect. Mm. All right, we're there? Yes, we're there. We're going to oh, flip man. this over one more time, Bob. Okay. Oh, wow. Those look awesome. Oh, yeah. There Ooh. you go. Mm. Put them on our pan right here. Okay. So once you get them browned lightly, then what's the next step? We're going to throw them in the oven on about 350 to 375 for about 8 to 10 minutes. Oh, wow. And then pull them out? Pull them out. Then and then they're ready to roll. Then we're ready to eat. Man, that's we're a simple Ready to one. eat. Okay. All right, Bob, here we have our finished product right here. After about 8 to 10 minutes um, in the oven, crab cakes, golden brown, um, served with our special house coleslaw, which is also South Carolina certified grown. Um, this coleslaw is it's amazing. Off the charts? It's, it's amazing, yeah. Well, here at Deck 383, you guys special and local. Mm -hmm. Eat fresh, buy local, okay? And I will tell you, that is a dish. Yeah. I know nobody can resist that one right there. Yes, sir. Jermaine, yes, sir. you did good, my friend. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank here you, at Bob. Deck 383. Thank you, sir. And folks, listen. Buy local, eat fresh, certified SC grown right here at Deck 383 on the Intercoastal Waterway in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, Wakawacha Marina. Come on down, ride the boats, eat the food, drink, be merry. We'll see you next week right back here on another episode of the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at certifiedscgrown.com. Buy certified South Carolina grown products. It's a matter of taste. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the Old 96 District, comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick Counties. This region is rich in fishing, hunting, craft work, and military history. The Old 96 District pays tribute to military history with several revolutionary and Civil War attractions. Along with history, local businesses offer anything from artwork, breweries, pottery, and homemade soap. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the old 96th district of South Carolina. The open road, the wind in your hair, the feeling of freedom that drives us to go out and discover. At Chevy, we're committed to getting you there with confidence and peace of mind. That's why your Chevy clean dealers commit to using enhanced vehicle cleaning measures with CDC approved cleansers. If you need a new Equinox, get 0% APR for 72 months or $4,500 cash allowance on most models. You may even shop online and take delivery at home where available. So you can find new roads with confidence. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. 
They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. By the old 96th District of South Carolina, come discover the unexpected wonders. By South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, your source for all your promotional product needs. And by the City of Florence, South Carolina, Florence is full life, full forward. It might be old flathead. I just like to hear you grunt. Feels pretty good. Yeah. You're gonna be bigger than that last one. Oh yeah. Listen, I'm telling you, they've all been good today. All been good. How you, you able to get him? I called it. Right, Flathead. Now, let me just check. Let me just check. Oh yeah. I, I think he might be the biggest uh, kitty cat of the oh, day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know the folks ain't seen him yet, but that's okay. They will in a second. That is a ugly stick. Get him up here. Mm -hmm. You gonna lift him? I lift him. I can put him right in your hands. Yeah, man. There you go. Get him over here. Come here, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Told you there's a flathead down there. Yeah, you did. You sure? Grab him in that bottom lip there. Yeah, man. Grab him in the bottom lip. He won't get you. Right there. Oh, man. They pretty, ain't they? Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. They got the coolest color man, to them. Yeah, I'll tell you. Man, he is a fat one, too. Listen How about that? Up. Bo, I'm telling you. Huh? You did good. I tried. <laughs> Well, folks, that's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine from Santee down here in beautiful Pinewood, South Carolina, Pax Landing, and one of the guys that owns this place, Stevie Pax, his brother Andy, they run this beautiful facility down here. If you haven't come down to fish, you need to log on to BobRedfern.com, go to Bob's Top 16, log on and fish with this guy right here, because I'm telling you what, you will not be disappointed. If you haven't been to Santee lately, it's back, okay? Blues, stripers, bass, and we're going to do some more down here, and I got Absolutely. thank you again okay absolutely and it's just been a wonderful day I know you're gonna get back out on the water here soon but you know if folks do want to come down here what's the best time and let's take just a couple of seconds here what is the best time to come down here for stripers for the stripers it's generally March 1st till June 1st okay here at Santee on, on the upper end you know we're the further as far as we can get up the river here. I got you uh, we're the last marina on the Santee system so and they're going up to spine in March, and then they're coming back down, and then they'll move on to the lower lake. So March through June, of course, the shellcrackers, they're biting now. The bass has been phenomenal, largemouth. You, these tournament weigh-ins, it's unbelievable. There um, you go. The catfish is awesome. Always, year-round. We catch catfish year-round, so. And, uh, but it's good. Well, folks, listen, I tell you what, again, as we always like to say each and every week, the outdoor is my passion. I want it to be yours, too. And I know you want it to be oh, there. Absolutely. Okay? Stevie, thank you so much. Folks, we'll see you right back here again next Enjoyed week it. on another episode.